Indians kick off, taken at the 10, drop, picked up at the 11-yard line. Jordan Castelli with the return across the 20 to the 23-yard line. And Canamac will take over there. Indians cutting the lead in half with the Rick Squires touchdown every seven. Walking off a penalty against Cannon Mack. Only coming with 58 seconds to go here in the opening quarter, which uh, kind of surprised us with the seven. I didn't realize it was a seven o'clock start. I just happened to catch it on Twitter before we left and kind of got here right before kickoff. Cannon Mack will throw and the pass. In between two receivers will be incomplete. Quarterback Jordan Costelli winds up on his tush. Costelli's pass falls incomplete. And it brings up a second down and 15 for Cannon Mack. If you're joining us late, the Indians threw an interception on their opening possession. A can Mack returned to the five-yard line, setting off first and goal. They managed to convert for the touchdown. And then and after a Noah Dipko punt, put the uh, Big Mac set the six-yard line. On third down, an offside penalty. Oh, the ball's on the field. It's a fumble to the Indians have it. Looks like they fall on it at the eight-yard line. Big scrum, the official, I don't see any official sign. 28, Gerald Bowman on the carry. Looks like Cannon Mack recovered it. But Cannon Mack had a third down at the six yard line. Indians jumped offside, moved it up to the 11. And then Cannon Mack converted on an 89 yard bomb, 14 nothing. And now Rick Squires cuts the lead in half with a 40 yard pass from Cameron Trant. It's 14-7. Big Max uh, recover the fumble, but it's third down back at their own eight yard line. Third and 26. Kanemek will throw, looking over the middle, has a man to pass complete. And the Indians give up another big play out to the 45 yard line. Castelli's pass completes the number 10, Drew Engel. And that is enough for another Big Mac first down. 37 yards on the completion. First and 10 for the Big Macs at their own 45. And Cannon Mack with the first down. Again, the Indians had Cannon Mack pinned inside their own 10 yard line, and the Indians give up the big play. That'll do it after one. Cannon Mack 14, Penn Hill 7. You're watching the Indians Football Network. Quarter number two underway with the Big Macs with a first down at their own 45-yard line, following the big play on third and way long. And now Cannon Mack will lose two yards. Garrison Kemp on the tackle for the Damian Indians. Damian Brady, number 44, on the tackle for Penn Hill. And Mac coaches are arguing something on the sideline. <clears throat> 
And a penalty flag comes in on the sideline. Do we have a motion or is there some mouthing going on from the coaches? No, false start. They'll bring up a second down and 16. Ball start against the Big Macs. Pushes them back five yards. the shotgun, Cannon Mack will throw, right side, has a man, one-on-one -on -one coverage, gets stuck by the Indians. The a late penalty flag comes in out of the 50-yard line. It was Daryl Mason with the stick. Looks like they're going to call the Indians on something here. Number 44, Damian Brady on the head. He's away from the play. Somebody took a shot at somebody. Personal well, the lack of discipline gives Cannon Mack a first down. Mack on after the reception. Gives the Big Macs another first down. Remember, Cannon Mack had third and 26 back at their own eight yard line. The Penn Hills 36. Play action. Launch went down the sideline, but a. The penalty flag come in or somebody called timeout. False start against Cannon Mack. Kenamek keeps it on the ground. The Indians are there. Noah Dipko comes out to wrap him up and will be dropped for a loss. 28, Gerald Bowman on the carry for the Big Macs. Noah Dipko, 24, on the tackle for Penn Hill. Dipko again, forces the fumble, the Indians scoop it up at the 46-yard line. Inside the 30, penalty flag comes in. But going down at the 24-yard line is Andy Plowden. Penalty flag back at the 33, they're going to call this on Squires. Andrew Plowden. And another one back at the 43, too. Number five, Gordon Castelli on the tackle. Holding against the Indians. Illegal block against the Indians on the return. I'm going to bring us back to the 43 and mark it from there. I do believe. Oh, well, they pick it up and drop it at the 38. Oh, no, they pick it up again. Where are they going to mark the ball? There we go, Bernard. It's 34. First and 10 Indians at the Big Mac 34. There are flags everywhere, and this crew wasn't quite clear what was going on. High snap, Tank will plow his way through the hedge row. It's down to the 31. Number five, Smith on the carry. Thirty-three, Blodgett. 
Noah Dipko playing some inspired defense that series for the Indians. Tackle for loss and another tackle for loss and a forced fumble. Which Plowden picks up and the Indians now have at the 31 yard line of the Big Macs. Tarrant from the shotgun has tanked to his right. Play action. Looking over the middle, has a man. Caught, hauled in. Inside the five, Davon Stevens close to the goal line. Down to the two, it looked like he stopped running. But it'll be first and goal Indians at the two. I think he might have been surprised he had the ball. But Davon Stevens, the size of a size, uh, size of a skyscraper, got the hands up, got the ball. Nice pass by Tarrant. And Kenamack uses their third time out of the half already. 9.09 to go, first half. Kenamack 14, Penn Hill 7. The Indians knocking on the door. You're watching the Penn Hills Indians Football Network. First and goal, Indians at the two. Tank smacked in the backfield. Keeps the treads moving, but he'll lose three down to the five yard line. Number five, Terry Smith on the carry. Thirty three point Roger, thirty four David Cooper. We'll stop through the big one. Second and ball. Canadian with the big Mac five. Tank. The Tarant's left. Grant, quick strike, right side, Julian Major, 3-2-1, touchdown, Julian Major. The Indians, an extra point from tying it. Terrence pass complete, number one, Julian Major, touchdown, Penn Hill. Touchdown coming with 8.21 to go. Dipko's kick is up and good. 8.21 to go first half. We are not at 14. You're watching the Penn Hills Indians football network. Antonucci with the extra point. Now Antonucci with the kickoff. Taken at the 15 yard line. Return out across the 25. Canamac will start at their own 27. Canamac up 14, nothing early in this contest. The Indians have come back to tie it. Stopped by a lot of Penn Hills And the rain's starting to fall again. First and ten, Cana McMillan. At their own Third game seven. of the season for the Indians. We will be home next Friday night, our home opener against Pine Richland. Cana Mack will throw here in the Ranger House. Man over the middle. Oh, it's, it. it's intercepted by the Indians. Raymir Williams will have it at the 48 yard line of Cana McMillan. Two Indians ran into each other. I think Ken, uh, Ray Mir might have been able to have a little bit of a return on it. But nonetheless, the Indians have possession with 8.07 to go. Well, if we meant to catch that during the break, the Indians, after uh, fourth week of the season, will have their first home game. First and 10 for the Indians at the Ken McMillan 28 yard line. Trips this way, Trent looking right, downfield, has a man behind the defense, touchdown, Penn Hills. Oh my, Cam Jeffries. Slipped away from everybody. And the Indians take their first lead. Number three, Cameron Jeffries for the Indians. Of this contest, just like that.
And Tanucci's kick is up and through. 7.58 to go, first half. Penn Hills 21, Canamac 14. You're watching the Indians Football Network. Seems like we just did this. Kick, taking it to 12. And the Indians are there coming in to make the tackle. Zarius Britt. Amir Knight with the return. And Cannon Mack will have it at their own 26 yard line. Our camera guy, Bernard Math, is doing yeoman duty tonight. Of course, our lovely producer, Helen. Helping out as well. Fortunately, the roof of the press box here at Cannon Mac does have a roof on it. Cannon Mac, their first possession trailing in this contest. We'll keep it on the ground. And the Indians are there after a pickup of about three yards. 28, Gerald Bowman on the carry. Bowman on the carry. And Ray Mir Williams getting into the action again with the tackle. Remember, most of all these kids in midget football, and here they are up at the varsity level. And it's really exciting to see. Movement on the line of Cannon Mack. Oh, they're going to call the Indians on defense. The right tackle moves for Cannon Mack. And they're calling the Indians for offsides. Goodness. Against the I mean, if I can see that from here, why can't they, they see that? And they're standing right there. Second and two hit backs for their own 35. Now, Cannon Mag with a second and two. Throw right side of the pass, batted down. Squires gets the paws up. Bats it down, fortunately for Cannon Mack. Otherwise, Squires was 32 yards from another Indian score. Indians trailed 14-0 in this one. They've come back roaring for a 21-14 lead. Indians coming on the blitz. The pass too high, and it's almost intercepted. Raymere Williams and Dipko on the coverage. Raymere almost with another pick. But the fall, ball falls incomplete to bring up a fourth down for the Big Macs. They'll bring on the punting unit with a fourth and two at their own 35-yard line. Clock stops, 6.51 to go here, quarter number two. Again, the Indians up 21-14 in this non-conference matchup. And Ken and Mack look like the Los Angeles Rams in those color rush uniforms. And I kind of like them. Nice contrast out there with the uh, yellow and the white. The Indians could have worn red tonight. It would have been a really nice contrast. Ken and Mack gets the kick away, taken at the 31-yard line. Nice return. The flag comes in. This one will come back. Daquan Hardy out of bounds about the... Well, being Canamac territory, Hardy nonetheless, penalty flag back at the 35. Four out by number seven, Rancher. Penalty flag on the return. So the Indians hurting themselves with field position with penalties. Indians mess up the timing on the uh, motion. The snap hits Cameron Jeffries as he comes across. Canamac falls on it. At the 20 yard line, the penalty flag at the 19. 
The penalty is against Penn Hills. The yeah, penalty flag Big against Mac Indians will be declined. First Cannon Mack with a first down at the 20 yard line. Well, the Indian defense will have to come up big again. Pass incomplete. Coverage by number seven, Tyler Blue. Gonna we'll bring up a second down and Uh, the penalty flag comes in. Looks like this one's going to go against Cannon Mack. Offsides against the Indians. Second and five for the Big Macs at the Penn Hills 14. Oh, there he goes, marking off against Cannon Mac. Procedure penalty against the Big Macs. Pushes the Big Macs back to the 19. Canamac pass, batted in the air, falls incomplete. Squires again the with the deflection. Third now brings up a third and 10 for Canamac. Canamac to throw, looking left side, under pressure, gets the pass away, and the pass in and out of the hands. And throwing a little bit behind, Ramier Knight. And it'll bring up a fourth down it's at the 19-yard line. I'm going like to 20. I'm faithful here for Canamac, starting to get a little restless. Canamac going for it, throws one into the end zone and the pass picked off. And they decide to run it out. Oh, goodness gracious, Daquan Hardy's gonna get an earful on the sideline after that one. Take the knee, get it at the 20 yard line, but instead the Indians will have it at the five. Castelli's pass intercepted by Daquan Hardy for the Indians. Yeah, Coach Rash, the first one out to greet him. I think as soon as he ran out of the end zone, he was like, uh, oops. Yeah, and I'm like trying to strip the ball off of Tank. Number five, Terry King Smith on the no, don't pick up three yards out to the eight. Clock running, 5.50 to go here, first half. The Indians up 21-14. Grant rolling, throwing, has a man. Julian Major uncharacteristically 
drops it. He started to run before he had that one in his hands. And he had some room to run. He may still be running. Chips to the right. You have Jeffries in between Squires and Major, and this is the way Terrant's going to come under pressure, breaks the tackle in the end zone, runs it out, goes out of bounds at the 10 yard line. It'll be short of the first down. Two yards, but he got out of the end zone, avoided the safety. And the Indians will punt. I like this field with the uh, alternate green. Gateways is uh, is like this. Dipko from his own end zone. Canamac with 10 men up. Dipko with a boomer, end over end. It's at the 45 yard line, goes dead. And Indians will down it at the 46. 5.18 to go, first half. Pennells 21, Canamac 14. You're watching the Indians Football Network. Canamac takes over at the Indian 46 yard line. Throwing rest out of best, tipped again. Unable to come up with it was Graydon Pletchnik. The pass, tipped at the line, intended for 21. Second, 10 big match. 46. keeps it on the ground. Dipko will make the tackle. After a pickup of about four, maybe three yards. And there's an injured Indian. We'll take a break. Five following the injury timeout. Kevon Pachel. Cannon Mack with a third and seven. Jordan Castelli, the quarterback, sets the troops. Looks right side to pass, batted again. And oh my, Daryl Mason with the tip. And it fell right in front of Donovan Bain, so I think it was surprised that the ball was fell right in front of him. But the Indians are getting a pause on it tonight. Yeah. Tip drills. Fourth down for Canamac. We're going to assume they'll punt. Number 10, Britt. Number 15, I said Graydon Wass back to kick. 14, Wass. Nice kick by Wass. High, hits at the 20 yard line. And Cannon Mack will down it at the 19. 4.35 to go in half. He needs to have the ball and the lead. 21 to 7. You're watching the Pennells Indians Football Network. Pennells at their own 19. Durant rolling on the option, tank this way. Picks up about three, four Colton yards maybe. Smith nice Smith tackle Bob by Perry Colton Blodgett of Cannon McMillan. Trent will roll to his left, looking, launching one. Julian Major across the 50, the pass is picked off. A little too much air under that one from Trent. And Cannon McMillan will return it inside the 30, down to the 21 yard line. Pass, like Kletchnik again. Julian Major intercepted by number 21, Graydon Picnic for the big match.
Tackle made by number one, Julian Major for Tennille. Julian Major comes back to make the tackle. Picnic's return for 34 yards. Big Max take over. First and 10 at the Penn Hills, 21. Cannon Mack loses it. Do they fall on it? The Indians say they have it. And they do, apparently. Fumble is recovered by number 23, Frederick Squires. Frederick Squires with the recovery. Oh, the Indians had with 345 to go. Daniels takes over. First and 10 at their own 26 yard. Durant, straight drop, again, over the middle, tour tank. And the pass incomplete. How dangerous there is thrown into triple coverage. The penalty flag, the officials are conferring. Done against the Indians, but Canamac will decline. It'll bring up second down and 10. The penalty is declined. Brings up a second and 10 for Penn Hills at their own 25. Tarrant rolling this way under pressure. Launches one downfield. Tight coverage on Julian Major. He gets up, but unable to hold on to it. Off his hands. It'll bring up a third down and 10. Indians will be tagged for five. That was ugly from the start. Third and 15 Indians from their own 21 yard line. Thank and motion this way. Looks like they're trying to set up the screen. Tarrant gets away from one, gets away from another. Gets out of bounds. After a pickup of about five. But the Indians are going to have to punt. Again, five. Brings up fourth and ten for Penn Hills. 24, kick go. Turn it away for the Indians. Dipko, end over end line drive, takes Cannon Mack back to their own 34 yard line. They drop the ball, fall on it at the 36. Number 21, Graham Pickney, immediately by number 13. Jeremy Hamilton. That great and Plutchnik kid is everywhere. For Cannon Mack. 
three, four, thirty-six. Canamac will throw, launch him on downfield. Has a man behind the defense, caught. First down, Canamac and a lot more. Down to the 22-yard line, making the tackle finally Daryl Mason. Reception on the play by Ramier Knight. As there is Britt also on the tackle for the Indians. First down. Well, similar to their 89 yarder in the first quarter. Pass this way again, Knight. Inside the 15, down inside the 10 yard line. First and goal, Big Max at the nine yard line. Clock will stop for the moment with 252 to go. Completion from Castelli tonight. Tackle made by 10. Brent. Not before the big match, big match pick up another. First down. First and goal for the big match just inside the Indians 10 yard line. Pass batted in the air again, and it's caught. Kletchnik driving to the end zone. Does he get the surge? He'll be at the one-yard line. It was tipped again. The Skelly's pass deflected at the line, pulled in by great picnic number 21. That'll be third and goal, number 17, Big Max Williams. at the one. Excuse me, second down and goal from the one. Second and goal at the one. Let's see, whatever happened, team's going under center at the one yard line. And the Indian defense played that one nicely. David Cooper, no gain. Cooper on the carry. Ramir Williams, 17 on the Ramir stop. Ramir Williams with another hill. stop for the Indians. Kenny Mack, play action this way, throws. Has a man wide open in the end zone, touchdown. Set that one up nicely, Andrew Engel. JC's pass complete to Drew Engel. Six more for the Big Mac. Kenny Mack, an extra point from tying it. Kick is up and good. One minute to go in the half. We're tied at 21. Penn Hills. Ken and Mack, you're watching the Indians Football Network. Josh Byers kicked it away for the Big Mac. Ken and Mack with a short kickoff. Taken at the 21 yard line by the Indians. Nice return out across the 30 to 35. Still on his feet across the 40. Indians will have a nice place to start. Cameron Jeffries. Three, Cameron Jeffries on the return. With the return. Number eight, Zach I think a late Gould penalty flag may come in. Right now, the Indians are going to have it close to midfield at the 48 yard line. Flag on the play. Personal foul against Cannon Mack. They're going to tack on another 15 yards. Personal foul against the Big Macs. Contact to the head. So now the Indians with three timeouts left, 49 seconds to go. We have the ball inside the Canamac 40 at the 37 yard line. Ken Hill's ball. 
first and ten. Well, from this part of the field, a lot of time for the Indians, especially with all three timeouts left. Tarrant looks left, throws right, has a pass complete. Inside the 30, inside the 25, down inside the 20 yard line to the 19. Clock will stop on the uh, first down. Jeremy Hamilton with the reception. And I believe the Indians will use their first timeout. 40 seconds to go in the half, tied at 21. Don't go away. Indians knocking on the door. You're watching the Indians Time Football out, Network. Hills. First down, Indians at the 19. Tarrant looking straight over the middle. Has a man. Touchdown, Fed Hills. Tank Smith hauls it in. And the Indians retake the lead with 34 seconds to go. Touchdown, Indians. Kick off to left upright, no good. Score remains, Penn Hills 27, Canamax 21. 34 seconds to go in the half. You're watching the Indians Football Network. Short kick off by Dipko to the 25 yard line. He's coming in, the ball is loose. Look at that cannon, the expression of the Indians, look at that Mac fell on it. Oh, what a break that would have been for the Indians. 28, Gerald Bowman on the return. Fumble recovered by number eight, Zach North for the Big Mac. And the rain continues to fall. Thankfully, we have cover. Tanner McMillan ball. First and 10. At their own 34. Cannon Mack will get the ball to start half number two. Let's see what they do here. They're going to play it safe. Maybe it should just use the timeouts. We'll take the knee. No, well, the Indians are going to take this one to the locker room, it appears. That they will. At the half, Penn Hills 27, Cannon Mac 21. You are watching the Penn Hills Indians Football Network. Number 37, Hunter Beeling on the return. Second half action underway here at Cannon McMillan High School Stadium. Cannon McMillan will start the second half with the ball at their own 30 yard line. And they'll throw, the pass dropped on the left side, tipped again. Not a stat that we have, batted balls, tipped balls. Cameron Trent, 127 yards passing in the first half. He's 22 more for 1,000 yards. <clears throat> Pass attempt to this side, almost picked off by Daryl Holloway. Costelli's pass intended for Rancher, number seven. Defended by number nine, Holloway for Penn Hills. And it'll bring up a third down for the Big Macs. Indians up 27-21. They trailed 14-0 in the first. Canamac tied it up with a minute to go to the half, and Indians came right down and scored a touchdown with before the half expired. Long pass incomplete. And a penalty flag down. Complete intended for number 16, Knight. Flag on the play. <coughs> Coverage by number three, Cameron Jeffrey. For the Indians. 
Penalty against Cannon Mack will be declined by the Indians. We'll get the ball back. Canamac kick short, goes out of bounds. Indians should have it in Canamac territory. They're gonna mark it at the inside the 40 at the 39 yard line. Oh, penalty flag comes in. I don't know where they're gonna mark it. They call a hold against the Indians. Oh, it's holding against Canamac. The way the Indians were acting, they were gonna call it against them. <laughs> the Indians will decline it, will take over. The penalty is holding against the Big Macs. That penalty is declined. Penn Hill's ball, first and ten. Oh, the Indians will start at their own 49-yard line. Hamilton comes on the Jets, a fake, it'll be Tank right side, across the 50, still on his feet, up the sideline, pulls over, another man inside the 30, Tank Smith cutting this way, inside the 25, still on his feet, inside the 20, inside the 10, Tank Smith, close to the goal line, wow! What a run by the Tank. It'll be first and goal, Indians at the one, after the 50-yard Tank Smith rumble. Number 25, Anthony Zanella, the touchdown saving tackle. See if Tank finishes it. It will be Tank, and he does finish it. Touchdown, Penn Hills. Number five, Smith into the end zone for the Indians from one yard out. Kick is up and good. 11.05 to go third quarter. Penn Hills 34, Canamac 21. You're watching the Indians football network. I don't hear me. Kick off inside the tent. Canamac picks it up there. Across the 20. Nice return by Canamac out close to the 30 yard line. Indian scoring drive, two plays, 51 yards. All Tank Smith, all on the ground. Tackle made by number eight, Dante Cephas for Penn Hill. Big Mac ball, first and 10 from their own 29. Sack on the play, ball fumbled, picked up by the Indians. I wonder if they're going to roll Costelli down, and they don't. Indians have it at the 14-yard line following the fumble. Oh, my. The ball is out and recovered. Nice play, Eric Strass. Number 40, Donovan Baines on the recovery. Donovan Baines recovers it for the Indians. Hills takes over, first and ten at the Big Mac 14. Go, 
High snap. Tank up the middle. Yeah, and Mac trying to strip the ball, but Tank gets down to the 10 yard line, picks up four. It's starting to get windy now. Number five, Terry Smith on the carry. Stop made by a bunch of big men. On the option, pitches it, loses the ball. Picked up, fumble picked up by Tank. Out of bounds at the 16-yard line. Indians will lose five. It'll be third down and 11. Fortunately, now the rain is coming right at us. to his right, looking into the end zone, has a man deep, touchdown Penn Hills! Jeremy Hamilton comes up with it, Indians extend the lead, they roll to the right, and there's an injured Cannon Mack in the end zone, 9.55 to go, we'll try the point when we come back, Indians up 40 to 21, you're watching the Indians Football Network. Personal foul penalty on Cannon Mack during the extra point. No difficult to kick it off at the Cannon Mack 45 yard line. At this point, I always say kick the outside kick. The ball's 35, otherwise, you kick it in the end zone here to the 20. Due to a penalty against the big man's own protection, the yardage is assessed on the kickoff. We'll Indian take a break. Off. That was some discussion on the sideline. They do try the onside kick. The ball is loose on the field, and there's a scrum. And the Indians say they have it at the 25-yard line. Yes, they do. The Indians have it at the 25. It's not a matter of trying to pile on at that point. When you're kicking off the 45-yard line, you always try to onside kick it. I mean, if Canamac recovered it, they would have had it at the 25-yard line. Otherwise, you'd kick it in the end zone and had it at the 20. So. And it takes over. First and 10 at the big match. 25. Thank for one. Hand off to number five, Terry Smith. Matt Tarkovich, number 63 on the stop. A gain of a couple. Second long for the Indians. Indians go early. It'll cost them five. It'll be second down 14. Ball start against Penn Hills. Takes it back five to the big match 29 yard line. Second and 14 for the Indians.
High snap, Trent does a nice job of hauling it in. Flushed out of the pocket, throws, has a man underneath his Tank Smith, penalty flag comes in. Tank hurdles his way down to the 10 yard line. Two, the play stands, it'll be a first down. Tackle made by number 33, Flag on the play. I think it's going to be an receiver. It's going to be legal substitution. Oh, well, they make up their mind which way they're pointing. An eligible receiver down the field. Stopped with 8.48 to go here in the third after the penalty. Now second out of 19 for the Indians. Ball at the Cannon Max 34 yard line. Carry to Tank Smith off to the right. Durant, clean snap, looking, flushed. Picks up maybe three yards out to the 32 yard line. Call it two. It'll be third down and 17. Going off on the shot for the Big Macs. Number two, Cameron Terrence. The ball, carrier. A gain of two on the play. It brings up a third and 17 for Ken Hill. It's a Big Mac 32. Grant, launch you on. Towards the end zone, has a man. Contact early, nothing called. Pass was intended to Cam Jeffries. And they'll bring up a fourth down. He needs to keep the offense on the field. Terrence pass broken up by Doug Coder. Pass was intended for number three, Cameron Jeffries. Brings up a fourth and 17 for Penn Hill. Not yet midway through the third quarter. 32. This one's turning into a marathon. Low snap, Durant, nice job picking it up, launching one towards the end zone. Julian Major fights off for a defender, and the pass incomplete. Penalty flag at the 26-yard line. Number one, Major. Number 44, Doug Coder. Breaks it up. Again, called against the Indians. Kanemak will decline, and Kanemak will take over at the 32. First we take Kanemak at their own. Kanemak trailing by 20. First down at their own 32-yard line. They'll throw, pass wide open over the middle. Loses the football, and the Indians have it. They're going to call it incomplete. They're going to call it incomplete. Yeah, and Matt gets a break pass. there. Intended to number 10, Drew Engel. Bring up a second down for the Big Mac. Brendan Squires separates Engel from the pass. Incomplete. Second attack. Pass tipped again. Picked off by the Indians. Down to the 30-yard line so goes Daquan Hardy. And again, another tip ball Hardy. by the Indians. They've had, had at least a dozen tip balls in this game. Indians take over. First and 10 at the Big Mac 30. Now, my philosophy on this is when you get a turnover deep in enemy territory, like this, you go for the end zone in the first place. Just try to... actually pick up two yards on the transfer of possession.
Tank looking for somewhere to go. Carries Big Max and Mayor McCheese five, inside the 30 down to the 27 yard line. Picks up three. Up on the stop. How many kids today actually know who Mayor McCheese is? Gain of four. <laughs> Second and six for the Indians. At the candidate going 27. Durant rolling to the right. Has a man towards the end zone. In the end zone. Touchdown, Penn Hills. Cam Jeffries from 30, excuse me, from 27 yards. Indians extend the lead. Durant goes over 1,000 yards passing. And the Indians extend the lead. Kick is up and good. 48-21 Indians with 6.41 to go into third. You're watching the Indians Football Network. Kick taken at the 15-yard line. Kanemak looking for somewhere to go. Has a lane across the 35 to 40. Kanemak in Penn Hills territory. Inside the 35 down to the 30-yard line. Late flag comes in. Nice return by Raymere Knight. I think the Indians are going to cost this one halfway, half the distance. 15 yard penalty on the late hits are called piling on. A little ticky tacky, but. Unless he was down, just keep away. The penalty is a personal foul against Penn Hills. Cannon back down to the 15 yard line. Puts the Big Macs at the Indians 15 yard line. First and 10. Stelly throwing towards the end zone, has a man. Ramier Knight, passing complete. Cameron Jeffries on the coverage, falls incomplete. Second and 10, Big Max at the Indians 15. Castilli getting the play call from the sideline. Time on a play clock, approaching 10 seconds. <laughs> Looking left again towards the end zone, has a man and a pass too far. This time it was great Fletchnick. Ramir Williams, 17 on the coverage. The pass ball incomplete. Third and ten. Big Max at the Penn Hills, 15. Now it's third down for Cannon McMillan. Oh, snap. The Indians are right there to lose the football, and the Indians have it. Indians have it at the 16-yard line. Another turnover coming with 6-12 to go. Here at quarter number three, the Indians up already by 27. Indians take over at their own 18-yard line following the fumble. Terry Smith, right side. Penalty flag comes flying in. 
Smith still on his feet, but they blow the whistle. Five, Terry Smith on the run. Flag on the play. This one will be marked off against the Indians. It's likely a hold. The ball is at the Indians 11 yard line. Grant looking over the middle, has Jules. Tipped it a few times and it was broken up. And it's passed. For number one, Major, Alonzo Lehman, I was just thinking, if only gone to, uh, Joel's only has one pass reception. 24, Alonzo Lehman. Oh, that was, that was, that was. For the big match. That was a 90 order all the way. Yep. Second and 20 for Penn Hills. At their own 10. He catches that clean, he's gone. Tank coming this way, cuts it up the middle. Spins ahead up to the 13 yard line. Terry Smith, number five, on the carry. Anthony Zonola, number 25. Austin Rowe, number two, on the stop. Third and 16 for Penn Hills at their own 14. Trent is going to take it himself. Has some room to run. Has a first time for the Indians and more. Trent across the 40 yard line gets a block inside Canamac territory. Out of bounds inside the 45 at the 43. Terrence, 43 yards on the scramble from Durant. We we'll have a first down for the Three, Indians. Three. Injured Cannon, McMillan, Big Mac on the floor side. We'll take a break. 4:59 to go in the third. 48-21 Indians. You're watching the Pennells Indians Football Network. Braden Picnic, the injured Big Mac. Indians with a first down. They'll run the jet sweep this way inside the 40, inside the 35, down to about the 32-yard line goes Daquan Hardy. Mark him at the 31, it'll be a first down after a pickup of 13. Rebels inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Picks up about three. Robo hits a blow. Bob hits it off. The game of three. Second and seven. Ten girls at the camera going 28. Tarrant throws over the middle, has a man inside the five, touchdown Penn Hills, the tank. Cannot be stopped. Touchdown coming with 347 to go. Going for two. 
Indians will go for two, and they have it. We'll have the running clock. 56-21, Penn Hills, 347 to go in the third. You're watching the Indians Football Network. Kickoff taken at the 13 yard line. And a close to the 30. Number 80, Eliza Walker on the stop for 10 minutes. And a back first and 10 at their own 30. Billy's pass complete. 35 yard line. Pick up of about five. Coaching staff, Kennemack still not happy about that two point conversion. It's raining, it's an ugly light night. You have the chance to go up by 35 and get that clock running. Pass picked off by the Indians. Another turnover by Cannon Mack. The ball tipped in and out of the hands of the receiver, Stephon Smith Crane, with the interception and the Indian offense on the field. But Cannon Mack was up 14 nothing in this game, but they turned the ball over. I not count how many turnovers they've had. They had a kickoff return. They were starting first down at the 15 yard line and they fumbled the ball. Ten Hills ball. First and 10. The big man 42. Hollis Mathis in a quarterback for the Indians. Number 12, Hollis Mathis, quarterback for the Indians. Hardy goes right side on the jet sweep. Looks for somewhere to go. Canamac, no, they won't. He'll break a tackle. Breaks another tackle, finally brought down back close to the 50 yard line. Warren Hardy, number 15, on the carry. Number 34, David Cooper, on the stop. At this the point, the officials will take their time getting the ball set, getting the play clock going, because the Indians will milk all 25 seconds of the play clock. A loss of six on the play. Second, 16. Tango ball at the Cannon Mellon, 48. Hardy comes in motion. This way, the Indians take too much time. Delay of game, penalty against the Indians. Well, see if the Indians keep taking delays of game and then punt. That backs them up to their own 47. Mathis, the young sophomore in at quarterback. 6'2", 170 pounds. Loses the football and is Mathis able to get it or is Cannon Mack having it at 45? Mathis does indeed recover his own fumble and recovered by the Indians. Indians keep possession. Number 12, Hollis Mathis with the recovery. And the officials taking their time, setting the ball. Third down in a bunch for the Indians at their own 45. Jet sweep this way. 
Nice lane up the sideline. Tyler Blue inside the 30. The 20 cuts it back inside the 10. First and goal, Indians at the 12. Should be down to the eight yard line. Tyler Blue will give the Indians a first down and goal. Time out on the field. Picnic with another cramp. We'll take a break. 56 21 Indians. Officials should. Officials do get the clock running, and that'll end quarter number three. We'll take it down to our right to start fourth, the fourth quarter. First and goal, the Indians. Pennell's 56, Canamac 21. You are watching the Pennell's Indians Football Network. Mathis from the shotgun at the 15-yard line, Indians. Tyler Blue drops it, picks it up inside the 10, or at the 10-yard line. This he played by Tyler Blue. The ball actually fumbled behind Number him. Seven, blue on the carry. He had the hands behind and picked it up on the bounce and managed to get back to the line of scrimmage. Be second down eight, and goal. Second and goal from the 10. True Johnson behind Mathis to his right. And it'll be true. To the six. Nice job of not going down, but still to the six Number yard line. It'll be third down. Kyle Johnson on the carry. Number 23, Zandarelli. 63, Pumpovich on the tackle. Mathis, rolling to his left on the option, pitches it to Johnson. Johnson inside the five to the three yard line. It'll be fourth and goal Indians. Lamarcum at the four. Clock running, 10-10 to go here, fourth quarter. 56-21 Indians. They trailed 14-0 in the first. Fourth and goal for the Indians. Game was tied at 21. 21 at one point. Right before halftime, and the Indians score with under a minute to go. <laughs> Penalty flag comes in. I think they have movement. Ball hits the turf. So does the play. Call for a start against the Indians. Yeah, they're calling movement against the Indians. Did the offense come back on them? Oh, the penalty's declined. And Emmett will the the take over. The Big Macs take over on downs. Clock stops on a change of possession. First and ten, Canada McMillan at their own 17. Now in that instance there, I know True Johnson fell on the ball to cover it up, but he had some room on a fourth down play. Yeah, he tried to pick it up and do something, but discretion being the better part of Valor. Canamac has the ball at their own 15. Big tackle on the play there by Jamel Ward. 23, Xander Kelly on the carry. Yeah, a four yard loss for Canamac. Number 87, Jamel Ward on the tackle. the sideline pushed out of bounds Number 23, Nathan Nathan Zinardelli Zinardelli right as the JV contest is about about the 13, 
on after a 31 yard scamper for the Big Macs. First and 10 at their own 43. Adam Mack will throw, right side, pass complete. Number 14, Graydon Ross's pass is complete. Tyler Ranch with the reception, seven, Jeremy Ranch. Hamilton. With the tackle, Jeremy Hamilton, number 13, Graydon Ross, the new quarterback for Cannon Mack. Game of seven, second three for the Big Macs, right at the 50. Again, coming in and making the tackle, Jamel Ward. He lost a five. Big test for the Indians next week with Pine Grishling. Find out if these Indians are for real. I'll tell you one thing, though. They can't make the mistakes they did tonight against Pine Grishling. We expect to uh, have, have a similar outcome. Under pressure, and he'll be sacked back at the 43-yard line. Penalty flag downfield at the 38 in the secondary. Loss number 14 is brought down by number 72, Trayvon Bailey. They call holding against the Indians. It'll be a, an automatic first down. Flag on the point. Just kidding. Oh, they picked up the flag. Four defense for the Wash drops back to punt. Play clock at three. And Canamac uses a timeout. 56 21, six and a half minutes to go here in this one. You're watching the Pendleton Indians out. football Cannon network. Wass will punt for Cannon Mack. High snap. Gets the kick away. Nobody back for the Indians. That's one to roll inside the 10. Give Wass a nice kick. And the Indians will take Wasson over with 6-10 to seven. go here in quarter number four. Come on, come Indians on. first down at their own eight yard line, play clock at five. I think the Indians have a personnel issue and Mathis will call timeout. Indians first down inside their own 10 yard line. We'll keep it on the ground naturally across the 10. Out close to the 15 yard line goes Tyler Blue. Number seven, Tyler Blue on the carry. Number 28, Gerald Bowman on the stop. Pickup of eight for Tyler Blue. Clock rolling under five minutes to go. Indians will have a first down across the 20. Donovan Blue. Donovan Blue wants to carry. The Blue Brothers. Tackle made by number 19, Marshall White. First down, first and ten for the Indians at their own 21. Looks like Cannon Mack may have jumped off sides. Oh, 
Indians coming this way across the 20, the 25, spinning across the 30, out to the 32-yard line is Jordan Boswell. Number 26, Jordan. First down, Andrew Indians. Boswell on the carry. Number seven, Rancher on the stop. Ball is at the 32-yard line. First Hollis ten. Math is your quarterback. Under 10. Well, the officials let him get the playoff this time. And the Indians go across the 30. Out of bounds across the 35 yard line. Goes Armand Gustav. Number 33, Armand Gustav on the carry. So I guess one's going to come back. Holding against the, the Indians. Flag on the play. Holding against the Indians. They back them up to their own 15 yard line. Indians come this way, get maybe five yards. Five, Ryan Bottoms on the carry. Ryan Bottoms with the carry. Clock under two Gerald minutes. Gerald Bowman, number 28 on the stop. Ladies and gentlemen, please stay seated following the game. Our award-winning Cannon McMillan Band will be performing a post-game performance. Our award-winning band will be performing a post-game performance this evening. Jet sweep across the 25 to 30. Up the sideline, out of bounds. Nifty run by so Donovan, Donovan Blue. Blue on the carry. Look it out to the 40 yard line, picks up 20 yards on the carry. Indians will be looking at a third down and about two. Third and two for Penn Hills at their own 40. Mathis keeps it left side. Has the blockers in front, up the sideline. Hollis Mathis out of bounds. Number 12, Hollis Mathis. At the 40 yard the line, 20 yards for Mathis. And I think the Indians will not run another play. Number 28, Joe Bowman on the tackle. The 
clock will wind down. The Indians are not going to come up and run another play. And that'll do it. Your final score here from Cannon McMillan, Big Mac Stadium. Penals Indians 56. Cannon McMillan 21. Cannon Mac went up 14 0 early. The Indians came back, went up 21 14. Cannon Mac tied it at 21 with a minute to go in the half. Indians came right down the field on a nice kickoff return at the 35 yard line. Ended up getting into the end zone with under a minute to go. And the Indians never looked back after that 27 21 lead. Cameron Tarrant, the story tonight, another big night for him passing. He goes over 1,000 yards, and we're only in game three of the season. The Indians will have their first home game Friday night against the Rams from Pine Richland High School. Week four of the season, the Indians get their first home game. So the Indians come out of here victorious. It didn't seem like it was going to be that way early, but the Indians do come away with the win. They go up and prove their season record to 2-1 and one on this young season. Once again, the final score from Big Mac Stadium. Your Indians, 56, Cannon McMillan, Big Macs, 21. We'll see you next Friday night at UHaas McGinley Stadium. I'm Bill Navari. Thank you for watching Pendles Indians football here on the Indians Football Network.